I think that after the Russell Wilson trade happened, everybody's first, or maybe not for maybe like second or third thought after that trade happened was, oh, Jerry Judy. He's going to break out because he's heralded as one of the league's great route runners. He ranks very highly in separation, but he has never had a quarterback in Drew Locke or Teddy Bridgewater that can consistently get him the ball, right? The quarterback situation has been at fault in his development. But is that all just going to go away now with Russell Wilson? And is that breakout year that everybody is banking on actually going to happen? I think their play styles, it's a little bit of a sketchy match and I'm not convinced that that breakout year is coming. Now, if you're looking at Jerry Judy's stats, the number that would probably stand out to you is his catch percentage, which was an abysmal 46% his rookie year, but jumped up to a respectable about 68% his sophomore year. And that's pretty, that's fine. You live with that. So you might think to yourself, he has fixed his biggest issue. Drops aren't a huge problem anymore. And yeah, the coast is clear, paved for a breakout role. Now, you may also see a stat that says he was ranked first in target separation. So at the moment the ball arrived, he's put a lot of distance between him and the defender. That's a indicator of a great route runner. So you might think, OK, he's torching corners. He's catching a good amount of the targets that he's getting. What's the problem? Why won't the breakout come? But I think there's context that everybody is missing. And the context is that Jerry Judy's role changed and he became a slot receiver last year. And that makes a lot of sense when you look at just how high his catch rate was and the separation numbers, because it's easier to catch short passes, A. Eh? And it's also easier to get separation when you're dealing with off coverage and a lot of linebackers and stuff like this. When this linebacker is playing a hook zone, Judy's just going to run a hitch right before it. They're going to hit him. There's like two yards of separation at the catch point here. This is not like two yards of separation against a man cover corner, though. Right. It's a lot less authentic. It's a lot less valuable, in my opinion. But Jerry Judy was able to take advantage of that. And his separation numbers looked a little bit inflated. I always hate when people bring up next gen stats separation numbers as a reason why a wide receiver is good or bad, because it's a roll stat. It's completely a roll stat. This is everybody at the top of their separation tracking numbers. Jerry Judy's not here, but he's still pretty high. But you look at the names that are here. Rondell Moore. Someone whose average depth of target was literally like one yard this year. But because everybody's playing off, his separation numbers are ridiculous because of that. Then it's tight ends. It's slot right wide receivers like Berrios. That is not because they're just torching man coverage and getting separation. It is 100% because of their role. And I'm not going to say Judy's a bad route runner, but the separation numbers are because of his role. And I don't blame the Broncos for moving him into the slot because I think his biggest problem is tracking the football and just like looking it into his hands. Like right here, the ball is up here. His eyes are looking down and it's a drop. All right, next play, right? He's tracking this into his hands. He's kind of got to contort his body a little bit. He's just taking his eye off the ball there, right? So you don't want a deep threat who can't track the football, obviously. So I tracked the logic to let Tim Patrick and Cortland Sutton do those things a little bit more this year and then utilize Jerry Judy's start and stop ability and quickness by putting him in the slot and letting him work linebackers over the middle. But anyway, here's the point. We've seen two seasons of Jerry Judy so far. The first one, he was a little bit more of an X receiver and he did a bad job. He did a bad job. The second year, he was a slot receiver and it went a little better. But here's Russell Wilson's heat map of the areas of the field where he targets. Notice how the middle of the field is just an ice cold blue. He doesn't really target there. And that's typically where Judy wins. If he's going to be a slot receiver and you've got Tim Patrick and Cortland Sutton on the outside, I don't see how the breakout for Judy happens with this quarterback. For example, check out this dig route from Judy, right? This is a great route. He's going to get in the blind spot of the corner, right? He flips his hips inside. He's going to run with him on like a cross, but then he you know, gets into his blind spot. This corner has to adjust for that turn around. Maybe he's selling vertical. And then once that corner turns around, he's going to cut this back inside and get a ton of separation on the dig. And people will look at that and be like, well, maybe Russ will hit that. And the Broncos quarterbacks of the years past won't. But here's the thing. I don't know if it's a sure thing that Russ would hit that, you know? Also, I want to say this about Jerry Judy's route running. He'll run some of the most gorgeous routes you will ever see in your life. He really will. But he also has a bad habit where he'll kind of slip or stumble 
coming out of breaks, like even right here, this is a nice route, but as he's cutting back, he's kind of stumbling. And if the ball were to be here right now, he's not really ready to catch it. This is Judy's first catch. And again, he kind of slips coming out of that break and he, he gets up, but it's something that I notice. It lined up as an outside wide receiver running another little hitch and Locke is going to look at him as the primary read on this play. But once again, he's going to slip and fall down. And even though the drop problem got a lot better this year, I still don't think he has great hands and I don't necessarily trust him to make difficult catches through contact. He dropped that one. This review has been really harsh on Judy. I don't think the guy is trash. I think that he can be a really effective slot receiver also with his shiftiness. And I think that he can be a really high level route runner. But I think people think that he was super polished last year and he fixed a lot of his issues and the breakout now, the final piece, the good quarterback is here and it's going to happen. I kind of disagree with that. I think there's a lot of things in terms of polish that he needs to work on and in terms of fit with the quarterback that he is an ideal. And his breakout or is not his breakout, but his improvements from his rookie to his sophomore year remind me a little bit of Andrew Wiggins. I remember listening to JJ Redick talking about how Wiggins really hasn't taken the leap like people think he has and what the stats would suggest he has because in Minnesota on the Timberwolves, this was a first overall pick that they expected to be a menace offensively and an efficient guy who can carry the load. And he was a disappointment in Minnesota doing that. But then in Golden State, he was kind of a role player, a three and D guy, and that fit his skill set better. Did he take the leap? into being that amazing offensive threat? No, he just changed the role. And the role is just like, you know, he can't be the number one. So we're just going to scale things back. Judy, I think it's a similar story because I think with Judy, right, they tried him out as a number one wide receiver with over 100 targets his rookie year on like the outside. And it didn't really work. He played poorly. And then the next year, yes, like the stats got better, but he didn't necessarily get better while doing the same thing. He got better while doing a different thing that isn't quite as difficult in my opinion. So that's the thing. It's like he still hasn't shown me that he can win consistently out on the outside. And Russell Wilson is a guy, you look at DK Metcalf, you look at Tyler Lockett, how much they win on deep shots up the sideline. That's the kind of wide receiver that I would predict to break out under Russ. And Judy, to me, has not shown that he's that guy. So that's my thoughts on the matter. I still think that it's possible. I still think, obviously, he's a young player and can break out in his third year. But I just don't think it's as guaranteed as people think. You know, do you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, but maybe it does. Maybe he just takes leaps and bounds and he replaces Cortland Sutton or Tim Patrick on the outside and, and Russ is hitting him and he gets chemistry. It could happen. I just don't think it's as likely as people think. So that's this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. This one's a little bit shorter and not as much film, but it's more of a a stats type of and role type of video anyway. But leave in the comments who you'd like to see next and I will see you next week.